And I'm going to go back to my catalog. And select uh, W, in this case, W18106. So I'm going to double click the W18106. And um, I'm going to change this support you see right now, it's the bottom of, it says the bottom of slab. So I'm going to change that to top of slab. You can see it's now shifted a little bit up, but let's say I want to shift it up even higher. So I can change this offset to three inches instead of zero. And so now my beam is actually fits quite nicely with the, uh, with the slab. So the other thing I'm going to do is uh, I want to clean up this corner. So the way I can do that is find out, okay, this, this side um, is the side I need from. So I'm going to select this other beam. And I'm going to change the layer to, um, to miter. And if you, if you get uh, something that looks kind of like this, where it seems kind of flipped, um, you can always use, there's a miter plus and a miter minus, and so you can always try the other one. And that gives you the exact 90-degree um, uh, opposite um, condition. So uh, now I'm done with that beam. I'm going to go here and edit this other beam here and do the same thing. Um, since I've already brought that, that W18106 into this file, um, I can just scroll down and it's already available for me there. This is, I've kind of downloaded into this local file from the catalog. So I can just pick it from here. And just like before, I'm going to choose top of slab. And I'm going to do three inches. And I'm going to select this, highlight this field, and see which side is this. OK, it's the wrong side, so I need this field. And I want, instead of that uh, grid line, this beam here. So now we have a nice, clean edge. And we've got our beams and columns. Uh, now you could go around and basically do that to the rest of the, the model and clean up all the, the edges. So I'm going to save that and we're going to go on. The, uh, the next thing I want to, to look at is the uh, slab. So we made a, a pretty basic slab with the, with the roof. And I want to um, I want to look at uh, creating just a, uh, a more standard slab. So we go back to our slab tool up here, and we're going to click that. And the first thing it's going to ask for is support. So in this case, I'm going to select a plane because I want a flat slab. So I'm going to select my ground plane, and this is this is where we use the limits. So the limits basically is I'm going to give it different elements. Um, in this case, these are sketch output lines. Um, I'm going to select from the from the partitions sketch that we brought in. Um, it could also be walls. Uh, later, we're going to create walls, and you could just as easily use wall elements. There's a variety of elements you can use to create the outline of a slab, which means that if the wall changes, then the slab will automatically alter. And you can see um, already while, while I'm clicking it, it's trying to find um, the, the result and outcome of, of all those elements. Um, and it's, it's going to show you preview until you've selected all of them. Um, once I've selected the, the final one, now it's, now it's showing me this lab as, it, as I want it. But it's basically taking these elements and 
extending them out into infinity and trying to find where where is the closed region from all these elements if we extend them out into space. So now that I've got that, I'm going to um, I'm going to change my thickness to 12 inches, so I have a 12 inch slab, and um, basically that's that's it. If I wanted to um, if I wanted to change uh, the layer, I could change that to bottom of slab, and it's going to shift the the slab element up. There's there's several um, options here which you can play with. And you can always edit the elements after the fact. Um, once you click OK, you're not, it's not like you can't go back. You can always go back to this window. So I'm going to save that. So the next thing I'm going to do, uh, we're going to recre create some walls. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is pre-select these, uh, these partition sketch elements. So um, I could select them from the model view, or if I want to, right-click, center graph, and I can find them, locate them here in my, in my um, tree view, my outline model view. So I'm going to select, hold down my shift key, and select all the elements here. Um, at this point, I'm going to click the wall tool, which is just below the slab tool. And first thing we see is uh, it says multiple. So that, that indicates um, that we have multiple inputs. And uh, just like the steel um, beams, we need to pull um, we need to pull from a catalog of wall elements. So I'm going to go to st my standard tab and I'm going to click that that catalog button there on the right. And it's going to open up my catalog. Um, now straight away it's gone. It's automatically gone to uh, my my standard wall layer sets imperial, so that's the the catalog I'm going to pull from. Um, I'm going to expand the partitions, go down to partition, and then I'm going to select the CMU eight inch partition. So I just double click that, and that's going to take. Um, the dimensional values uh, that are saved in there in the catalog. And now um, what I want to do is select uh, the bottom and the top. So you see uh, right now you don't see any walls just yet, but um, if we select the bottom, highlight the bottom field, I'm select the bottom slab, and right away, uh, you may notice, uh, looks like, what is all this, you know? Okay, these are just the walls that right now are going on to infinity. Um, but that's easy to rectify once we select our top, which in this case is going to be this roof slab. Once we do that, it automatically limits the walls. So we see... These walls are looking as they close to how they should be. Um, you'll notice that it's kind of sitting half on the slab, half off the slab. That's because our layer is set to center of wall. Um, we want to change that to exterior. And this way the, the walls will sit directly on the slab. And the last thing we want to do is hit auto connect. What that's going to, what that's basically going to do is take all these wall elements and connect them to to each other. So you see in this case that um, 
that these these wall elements are all are all kind of 